What's going on guys and welcome back to Ultimate Team Adventure. Here we are just starting off this video by continuing my insane quest to have every single 87 and below special card in the entire game. Now you guys have been helping me out quite a bit. I've been getting a lot of messages saying, yo, I have like 30 items that I'm just not using. They're just in my collection. So give me 50k for them and you can have them all. So I've been doing that. You guys have been helping me out a lot, but we're going to get into a ton of pulls. I'm talking like crazy crazy, crazy pulls that usually I would be way more excited about, but I'm going to go ahead and throw some music behind this so I don't bore you guys too much. If you want to skip it, be my guest. I'm going to explain why I'm not super excited about all these pulls like this Evo McKinnon, and I'm going to talk about how I feel about Ultimate Team after all these pulls because they're just ridiculous. So those were pretty ridiculous. I mean, that is just crazy, all those pulls. Now, these Christmas set collectibles where you trade in and get a gold player, I ended up getting a Lidstrom, and then I ended up getting this. 92 overall ISO Vechkin. So let's recap. That's Crosby, that's Bay Stamkos, that's Evo Stamkos, that's Evo Mark Shifley, and just a million other pulls. You think, oh my god, that's amazing, but it's only worth 55k. Now that's the problem with the ice cards that just just came out. I mean, it's very easy to obtain these insane overalls. You know, 55k, it's not that hard to make 55k, and you can get arguably one of the best cards in the game. The grind aspect is taken out, and it's just straight up open up packs, and you know, you have a pretty good chance to get one of these ice cards. That's a pretty high overall. Now, I'm all for pulling nice stuff, but back in the day, I mean, you always say back in the day is way better, nothing else would be as good as NHL 14 or whatever. But back in the day, pulling a 92 was huge. I remember I pulled like a 93 overall Jonathan Quick, and he was worth a million coins. A 93 overall goalie back in NHL 14 or NHL 15, whatever it was. But it's just, I don't know what's up with the market right now. Pulling a 92 is like, meh, okay, 50k. Now, ever since these ice cards came out, I have just had no fun with Ultimate Team. I'm getting absolutely destroyed. So I'm in Div 4 now, all right? In Div number 4. Remember that. It's not a great Div. I'm not bragging or anything. I'm in Div 4, and this game was 11 to 2. So I'm like, man, this guy's so good. What the hell? What happened? You know, I didn't play terrible. So I go check this guy out, and he's in Div 1. Not only is he in Div 1, but he's top 400, 405th in the entire world. And look where I'm ranked. Just have a look at that. How does that make any sense to you? So with all that being said, I'm having zero fun and I'm getting these shit kicked out of me. It's not enjoyable and this happens every single year to me. I just can't seem to hack it in the top four divs. I seem to do okay from div, you know, 10 to four, but after that, it's just no fun. So anyways, here is what this team is looking like now and I've completely dismembered this team. It is gone. Everyone is gone. I sold everyone. I sold the Stamkos. I sold everyone pretty much except 
except for Debrinkat, Brock Besser, and Bo Horvat. Everyone else is gone. I thought, why? I'm not having any fun. Why would I have all this crazy team? You know, if I can't compete, whatever. I'm just going to do offline stuff. So you guys obviously know about my collection of all of the 87 overall items. There's so many to collect, and it's actually fun because every day there's new items that are being released. In the description, there's going to be a link. It is a live Google spreadsheet. Whenever I update it, you guys can see it instantly of all the cards that I need. If they're in red, obviously I need them, and you can see what I paid for everyone, all that stuff. But with that being said, I'm not quite sure what's next for Ultimate Team Adventure. I'm not going to give up because I would really love to win a Div 1 title, and it's a little bit embarrassing, you know, being the one guy who doesn't have a Div 1 title or that can't play in Div 1. Uh, is it my strategies? You know, what is it? I don't know. Is it, are you guys struggling as well? Because I've been talking to people on Twitter and they just basically saying, stop bitching, you suck at the game, blah, blah, blah. But if I'm ranked, you know, what was it, like almost 9,000th? And I get matched up with a guy who's 405th? I don't see the fun factor there. Now, apparently it goes by how many games you've played, not by the division or something crazy. I don't know. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me why someone in top 400 would get ranked up with, with a guy who is, you know, closer to 10,000 than 1,000. It just makes no sense to me. So I don't know what's happening with Ultimate Team Adventure. It's kind of what I've been doing with Hut is just hanging out, collecting cards, not playing a whole lot of games, you know. I wouldn't be surprised if I have 50 losses before I have 50 wins. Here's a look at my record. It's nothing crazy, but I've been having zero fun. Video games are supposed to be fun, and for me right now, I'm having no fun. So this is kind of a downer of a video. I don't want it to be, you know, I hate the game, blah, 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 blah. I don't hate the game. I just wish that I could be better at it. But I just want to make this video just to, you know, people are asking, where's Ultimate Team? What's going on? Well, that's what's going on. I'm just collecting cards, having a little bit of fun on the, uh, on the side. I may take a little break over Christmas and then come back and really hit it hard because I need to win a Div 1 title. I just just, it's bothering me, you know? It's a video game, but it's really bothering me. So hopefully we can come back strong. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you have any of the cards that I need, let me know as well. I think I have over 500 special cards now, and at the end of the entire year, or whenever I decide not to do this anymore, I'm gonna sell and quick sell them all and just have an insane pack opening with like the two million coins that it's gonna be just in quick sell. Uh, that's for me from you guys. Thank you for watching. Sorry this video was a bit of a downer, I just wanted to keep you guys updated. Thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you soon.